Chris Six weather forecast. And we are starting off this morning once again on the uh, pretty muggy and mild side over the coastal bend, but a little bit of a change in our weather pattern. We had a little bit yesterday. We had some showers across the coastal bend, and today the upper level disturbance that we talked about yesterday is already beginning to send moisture in our direction. So it's just a little minor disturbance that's off to the west of us right now, but this uh, little minor disturbance is going to give us our best opportunity for some rainfall this afternoon and over the next seven days. Uh, today is the best opportunity to get that rain. So this little upper level disturbance right here is going to be moving over south central Texas and eventually push off to the northeast of us. So that's something we're going to be watching. So the result of it this morning is a, a little bit of some light shower activity. A lot of this is likely not hitting the ground, but again, you still could see a couple of little sprinkles across the coastal bend. So we're going to be watching that and there's additional activity out around the Rio Grande Valley into northern parts of Mexico right there on the US border. And uh, some of this activity may begin to clip our southern counties and eventually push in our direction as the morning continues. So as you make way out the door we may not want to forget the umbrella. So as we look at the rainfall forecast from now to about the uh, midday time frame, we'll be looking at widely scattered showers and thunderstorms across the region and then tapering off just a little bit as we head into the afternoon. But even though it's going to be isolated in nature as the day progresses, the opportunity to see a few of those storms become severe is certainly going to be out there. So the six weather team is going to be watching that opportunity for you. It just continues to look very muggy and uh, pretty icky outside 73 officially out at the airport with the south southeasterly wind at 16 miles an hour and all over the coastal bend. We're looking at those mid to low 70s for the inland areas and right near the coastline from Rockport Arantes Pass into the lower 70s, even 74 out at the uh, Naval Air Station. So as far as the winds are concerned, uh, still variable, but out of the southeast, as far as the speeds are concerned, anywhere between about 15 to 25 miles an hour. Notice Orange Grove is checking in right now at 24. So here is the hourly forecast for today. We're definitely going to look at the uh, cloud coverage to stick around a couple of little showers early this morning and then already 79 with some of those thunder showers across the region. A little bit more sunshine in the afternoon is there, but again, intermittent between these hours, we could still see a couple of uh, thunderstorms out there. So keep that in mind with southeasterly winds still going to be on the uh, windy side around 15 to 30. Despite all the cloud coverage, it's still going to be hot for the inland areas. We're talking about middle to lower 90s and out near the coastline into the upper 70s to a uh, lower 80s as well. With the wind, still a high rip current risk all the way until tomorrow, as well as small craft advisories. And we also have a fire weather watch so that is in effect for our inland communities as well. So keep that in mind. Bays will be choppy to rough sea, 7 to 11 feet. And as far as high tides for Ballpaw Pier, Port Aransas Jetty, notice there's two for Ballpaw Pier. And then later on this evening for Nueces Bay as well. Hopefully you don't mind the wind because it continues to be on the elevated side as we put all of this together on the seven day forecast for you. Isolated to scattered showers and storms today. We'll be watching the radar closely 71 and 93 for tomorrow pretty hot there then a weak front comes in early on Thursday takes us back down to the middle 80s but the Easter holiday weekend